Hi, this is Amir with an August Bank Holiday Edition of the Bulletin Board Heroes. In this case, the best of uh, 2022 uh, year to date, obviously. And uh, here you can see on the left-hand uh, column that uh, most of the rises are familiar names uh, which have been uh, highlighted in the Bulletin Board Heroes on uh, many occasions. Which is good news. Most of the rises, obviously, with Bulletin Board Heroes covers the smaller stocks. So we don't have Go Ahead Group and uh, various other ones there. But uh, out of the small caps, uh, it's good to see that most of them had uh, decent coverage in the Bulletin Board Heroes so far. Uh, moving along to the first chart, which is Angus Energy, which seems to be all over all over uh, Twitter at the moment. Uh, took a long time, a lot of consolidation here but at the start of the rally basically almost uh, really from the start of the year we had bullish divergence there back in de december a little bear trap there final bear trap just to flush out uh, the weak hands and uh, the rally started oh there was a rug pull back in february with a gap down and the shares uh, actually bounced quite well after that but it's just the slowness of the uh, descent here is, is notable hopefully over the last couple of sessions that'll make up for uh, the long wait and uh, we may actually see a, an extra reaction given uh, the now that uh, the log jam has finally uh, apparently been cleared. Old resistance there from uh, the end of March around the 1.55 level. Above that, uh, we've already hit the uh, t initial target we were looking at around 1.8. Uh, the next target to go for here is a resistance line projection from last November up to 2.7 pence, which uh, may be seen as soon as the end of next month ideally we hold above 1.55 and even better we can hold above the top of that uh, rising trend channel from november around 1.8 but uh, let's see how we go on that uh, another stock which has been championed here uh, quite relentlessly is um, our expiration here we've got a broadening triangle rally uh, the start of the rally here was um, again once again after a little bear trap we had a gap down so an exhaustion gap down there, very oversold conditions, and that's the uh, end of day close above the uh, gap there around uh, the 7.3 pence uh, level on the uh, 5th of January, got the thing going. And since then, we've had that, this decent progression. Uh, main support here around the 15 pence level, and above that, we're still looking for the top of that triangle as high as 26 or 27 pence, maybe by the end of October something along those lines but um, the price action here well above the 200 day moving average for an extended period that does suggest uh, the backbone of this rally remains strong out of the stocks which have risen the most this year probably borders and southern the one i've uh, looked at the least but still obviously have looked at it uh, here because of the slowness of the price action especially over the course of june to uh, august very tempting just to stand aside but uh, Earlier this month, we had a gap through the 50-day moving average, and we found support um, at that level ever since. Uh, the view now is that uh, above the uh, initial August peak, around 4.2 pence, uh, we could get, uh, see a decent rally here, up to as high as 9 pence, maybe over the next uh, couple of months, so by the end of October, uh, given the way that this uh, stock tends to be rather slow. But maybe on this occasion, uh, the pace of momentum will start to gain and rise on to egdon which um, also has a uh, sort of familiar looking pattern if i can uh, type out the right uh, uh, epic code uh, here you can see that um, we've had a uh, broadening triangle but we had an initial target here around six pence uh, which is the top of a uh, september rising trend channel next target here up to eight and a half or so which is the top of that broadening triangle from december and hopefully we'll see that by the end of next month. But uh, good that uh, there was decent coverage of the shares all along. On to Europa, another familiar uh, bulletin board stock. Uh, here a bit like the uh, situation with Borders and Southern, so a very slow situation, even though obviously we have risen very well in percentage terms since the start of the year. We've got the 50 and 200 day moving averages rising in parallel, and we're looking for the top of the rising trend channel, the one-year channel, as high as four and a half pence by the end of October and hoping that the shares remain above the two and a half pence area of the price channel floor and the 50 day moving average in the meantime but that uh, progression there of a rally sideways move and then another rally step uh, progression is a strong one and obviously has 
provided uh, people with decent returns so far. On to Harvest Minerals, where we have had a, a decline from the uh, April, uh, March, April peaks uh, near 18 pence, but it looks as though the share is ready to go for, on another run. Good support in the recent uh, days and recent weeks at the 200 day moving average, currently around 11 pence. And above that, we're looking for a return to the best level, so maybe through 18 pence, but even higher than that, up to 21 or 22 pence. Um, by the end of October. So um, look, it looks like a decent pattern there. The whole thing started with um, that vertical move that we had in January, and we haven't really looked back uh, since then. I3 Energy going, going great guns on both a fun fundamental and a technical basis. Here we've got a wide rising trend channel in place since uh, this time, well, since September last year at least. Uh, latest bounce uh, off the floor of the channel, so that's around 25 pence, gives us the uh, message that above 25, we're looking for up to 40 pence at the top of that rising trend channel. And uh, time frame on that may be by the end of October. Good thing here is, again, once again, the uh, share, shares have been above the 200-day uh, moving average effectively all the year, which is uh, pretty impressive. And uh, hopefully that state of affairs will continue. Stock which has been quite an eye opener in the recent past has been iGas. Here the big breakout happened in the mid 30s, and I think we were there to highlight that at the time. The uh, trend la trend line at the time, which I suppose was was the main one to follow, was the, the break of that uh, resistance line there from April at 35 pence, and we haven't looked back since. We were had the suggestion of a, a good, decent rally with that uh, extended rebound off the 50-day moving average, which came in July, and then obviously then we had the big breakout gap higher on Friday, and uh, we're looking for as high as uh, one pound ten or one pound twenty uh, at the moment by the end of October, or perhaps even sooner. Moving along to a rather more obscure contender, MC Mining, which. Uh, uh, had a great end to the week, I think, the way uh, things were going. Uh, we initial target here was around 14 or 15 pence at the top of well, that resistance line projection there from back in November. Uh, upper parallel here looks to be heading for uh, 22 pence, and we could see that maybe as soon as the end of next month. The longer we stay above that uh, 15 and a half pence uh, July peak, uh, the more the chance of a move to 22 pence by the end of next month, and obviously the uh, the gap to the upside helping underline the very strong momentum there. Uh, Nanoco is next and um, here the stock uh, uh, once again had a sort of a vertical move after a bear trap, that final bear trap uh, then in uh, March. Gaps to the upside both in uh, May and then in June. We've consolidated since then but we still seem to be in a broadening triangle. Uh, the floor of that triangle currently around uh, the 40 pence area, so above 40 pence, looking for continuous or continued upside, maybe as high as 70 pence by the end of October, uh, given the way that once again the stock has been above its 200-day line for an extended period and looks uh, as though it wants to stay that way. In fact, it really wants to stay above the 50-day moving average as well. Rearbold is the uh, next stock, and um, here you can see that, uh, again, the turnaround beginning of the year with the recovery of the 50-day uh, moving average after a, uh, a bear trap there down towards um, well, 0.11. It really did actually head very low indeed. Gapped off the low, unfilled gap uh, there, still there at the low, and then another gap. So that did actually flag that this was a very strong situation. Currently in a rising trend channel, top of the channel heading towards 0.5 pence, and uh, that target on the cards while we hold above uh, 0.3 and the 50-day moving average, which it looks as though we're fully capable of doing. Uh, the surprise contender here is uh, Tintra, which obviously had that flying start there back in uh, January. Rather a painful pullback, but uh, the break of that resistance line there from May, around 75 pence has got the shares back on uh, the bullish tack. Good support here coming, above, uh, coming in above the uh, rising 50-day line and on the 200-day moving average around one. 33 above 133 we're looking for at least a retest of the two pounds area which was late july resistance and that could come in as soon as the end of next month big picture target maybe for later in the autumn up towards two pounds 85 at the top of that broadening triangle which has been in place since the beginning of the year 
finishing off with uh, Union Jack and um, here the shares really rehabilitated themselves um, at the end of last month with a, with a rebound off the 200-day uh, moving average. So sort of typical type of setup there. Currently got the 50-day moving average rising in parallel with that. So that suggests that uh, the 40 pence area should be on the cards as soon as the end of next month. So looking pretty healthy there for Union Jack. That's it for me today. More updates during the week.